I'm Laura Perryman, I'm a colour, material and finish designer. I'm also author of a book, The Colour Bible, which is 100 colours in art and design. Day to day, I'm a colour consultant across industry, choosing palettes, making sure they're relevant for lots of different clients um, and users. Um, and I'm working with Millican to help them curate their new Tracing Landscapes palette. The new colours in the Tracing Landscapes collection are really beautiful. They convey the connection with the landscape. You've got lovely narratives embedded in the colours themselves and also in their names. Things like Muddy Boots, Open Glade, Wild Orchard, really convey that sensorial connection that we have with colour. The workplace has really changed. Um, we've seen through trends in people moving um, into more remote working, office environments have definitely needed to adapt to that. We're seeing environments where we've got much more kind of open plan working spaces, uh, casual working, um, working from home. And so the colour palette has to really adapt to this new changing landscape of the future of work. So softer areas of colour are coming in because we're seeing much more relaxed interiors um, and they're important for our well-being as well as this changing nature of the office space. There's some really um, brilliant and purposeful colour groups in the new Tracing Landscapes collection and they have evolved from the previous one as well. The blues area Normally, very dark, kind of formal, hard wearing and durable, it has uh, increased in terms of light level. We can see blues now, which are lighter, uh, more watery in nature, and they're really important um, for these kind of future office spaces. Greens, also important area. We've seen other greens potentially in the older Tracing Landscapes collection. Now we're seeing much more diversity, yellow base greens, uh, more neutral base greens and also on a pastel level which is important I think for creating uh, more kind of human in tune office spaces. Knowing the changing work space environment um, I think things like the corals so wild orchard is a particular highlight for me. I think it's very user friendly, very human this is really important for creating these spaces where people can really connect and it's supportive in that way. A new area of the Tracing Landscapes uh, palette really highlights these lighter neutrals. We've seen a movement away from blacks, charcoals, dark greys, these kind of formal colour areas. The new neutrals are a fantastic uh, aspect of the palette. They are more balanced, they're lighter, they have a sense of warmth, and they're really, really important for types of spaces that might cater for neurodiversity or a wide range of people. The new colours can be used in lots of new ways, I think, in a corporate interior space. I also think that some of these colours could be used specifically in more concentrated meeting areas, more formal or relaxed kind of spaces where people might meet, which are more lounge-like now that I think we've seen in interior spaces, so things like the pinks, um, and the coral colours really bring that kind of warm atmosphere to a meeting environment, but maybe less boundaried as well, which I think is quite interesting. It's exciting to see all the Tracing Landscape colours come together. These new colour groups are really, really important for the future of the launch.